All right, everybody. This is Donnie with Diamond Painting by Donnie. And this is chapter four of my Hade, Epic Hade Diamond Painting Chronicles. And I am about ready to start diamond painting this massive piece of wonder. Now, in the last chapter, I showed you preparing the canvas and I was, t I told you how I was going to start up at the top right hand corner. Well, you saw what the canvas looked like and so that made it impossible to do it and, and be able to stay on track with my um, pattern or design, whatever you want to call it. So I figured the best alternative is going to be to start at the um, top left and work my way down. So the top left, if you look here, it starts at a full 10 square. I've already cut the canvas. I'm going to do them in 20 by 20 blocks. Now I did count and there is enough. Now the um, this too is extra so I'm going to completely bypass it and I'm going to start on the third square and at the end where there is six I will finish with three left over so this is perfect where I can start at the top and go all the way down and be equal with the pattern so I'm going to show you this 20 by 20 block here I think real quick boom you can see where it says 10 and 20 so it'll start there and you don't have to use an iPad to keep track but this is a PDF reader it's Adobe it was a free program and it is able to be highlighted so if I I'm still getting used to it. Um, how to use it. I was just tapping it earlier and it ended up... Oh, I forgot. I have to push the highlight button down here. So, now I should be able to... See, I don't want the whole row. It undid it. See, it's doing the whole row. See, yeah, I just did a, a dot there, so it highlighted it. So I'm able to use two fingers to move it, and then I'm able to... I don't know why it does that. Long press does that, so... I'm not sure. I think I have to keep pressing the highlight button. Anyway, I'll figure it out. But it's going to be better than... Um, I don't know. I'm still, like I said, I'm still trying to get it. <laughs> anyway, it's either that or use the paper printout. But I'd rather do this because I'm able to... Oh my gosh, it's really finicky. I'm able to zoom it in to see the, the symbols way easier. See there? I just accidentally highlighted that. <laughs> Just when I was moving. Okay, so there. I can... I can play with it there, and I'm able to get... I can't go downward. There, that's what it is. I can go to the side because it's meant to highlight text. So, if you go down, it's going to highlight the whole program. Hold the whole row. And we don't want that. Now, I've got these little bugs flying around in here because I had my window open. And look at what they did. The kamikaze bugs. It's still alive. Oh my gosh. Get out of there. Okay. So I'm going to pause this and I'm going to set the camera up and I'm going to start a drilling. Okay. Now, I pulled out this box of um, 
this symbol because on the top right hand corner there was a lot of this so this is what I was going to start with there's a few of them on this first section so I'm going to go ahead and use it up oh, let me get my extra pin here to pop that lid open and I'm just gonna pour me a little bit of in there there's not a lot so I'm not going to be using um, the multi drills really on this section so I did bring myself a stylus to use hoping that will make it easier than my fat fingers trying to highlight where I've been. I can't wait. I'm starting. I'm starting. Alright. So, remember, I've got to remember to skip those um, first two. Now, i got to skip three. So this is going to take a lot longer with the fact that you, because it's con ca called a counted um, diamond painting, cross stitch, because you have to count to keep track. You can't just look at the picture underneath, and that's what I was going to try. If I can remember where I put my... Uh, printout of this pattern. Oh, it's right here. I think. No, that's not it. Is it? No, that's my checklist. Oy. I should have been prepared for that. Yeah, sorry about that. You know, I just set this, these shelves up so I'm not um, quite remembering where everything is. Uh, looking at this, I don't think that's going to work. Someone had suggested trying to stick it underneath because as you can see here, the print is way smaller than the squares. I mean, I could probably fiddle with it and let's see, even see if it would work. Uh, no, that's not going to work. You can't see through it. That was worth a shot. Okay, but there is something I do need to do. And that is get my washi tape. I got this neat little thing when they were on sale. It's a washi tape um, organizer thing. It's got two shelves. I'm zoomed in so it's kind of hard to see, but here we go. Two shelves, my 33 cent washi tape, I just got a little cutter on the edge. Now this is a pretty wide, I got a pretty one, let's do these pretty flowers. Sorry, I know you want to see the diamond painting, hey I got two of them in. We'll get going here real soon. And then I'm going to have to put some on the other edge there where the... And that'll help me remember not to drill on those two spots that um, aren't being used. hope this is wide enough. Long enough. I don't want to waste it, so... Alright. I'll just do one section at a time that I'm working on. Because I don't want to pull off the canvas on the whole thing at once. Those little bugs. Stupid things. I feel like starting I feel like I should start out break out in song. But they're not flies, so uh, I have to be perfect. Perfectly up against that edge. There we go. Perfectly wide enough to tuck it under and then get this one here and then 
we're good to go again. Alright. Oh, ooh, all the way in, I forgot. Alright. There we go. Nice and pretty. I could actually, yeah, I'll put it back. Okay. And my iPad turned off. I got this for Mother's Day. I was so not expecting it. I'm like, you do realize that um, when you buy me a gift like that, I'm still having to pay for it. And I don't buy these things for myself for a reason. I don't want to spend the money. But it was a nice thought. And mine was really, really old. So I appreciated it. It's just not something I'd buy for myself. And he says... I know it's not something you'd buy for yourself. That's why I bought it for you. So that's kind of um, what a gift is for, I guess. And you won't buy it for yourself. Someone else do it for you. Definitely a lot slower having to do the counting part. So two, one, skip one, skip, and then the very last one in the row. I like how they have the grids though because that really helps keep track of where you're, you're supposed to be. I already got that one, so one, two, three, four, the fifth row down. thing I don't like is these iPads, they shut off. Hey, these are crooked. Okay. Over two. Up two. Yeah. <laughs> I should have said just two down from that one at the top. to it, and then one up and over, look ma, mm, I'm doing it, can't believe I've actually started this thing, feels like it's been anticipated for so long, but it's only been, I mean I've only had my channel for a month, can you believe it, March, or I mean May 16th was when I opened the channel. Uh, okay, so then one here. One right next to it. Two over. This might be really hard to do um, talking with when I'm trying to count. If it's going to be like a big open area, that would be a lot easier. I know I wouldn't have to concentrate so much. Um, I think that's all for this color. Let me highlight them. I can't just tap on it. That's the problem. I'm going to have to figure this out because this is beyond frustrating. I might end up seeing if there's a better program because this is going to be really hard to maneuver every time 
it, uh, I want to be able to just tap. Somebody else was using a program on the heaven and earth. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but it, um, stopped recording. And I was investigating a new, uh, way to highlight my, uh, chart here for the ones that I've done already. And I found a new program, and it works way better than the Adobe Reader I was using. So I don't know what I was talking about. But I am moving on to the next one. My phone does not have very much um, power left to it, but I really, it, it's been like an hour and a half since <laughs> my last session, the, well, the first 15 minutes of this video. And I'm getting tired and I really want to get some of this done. So my phone might die. If it does, um, I will probably just pack it up and post this video and then um, go to bed and continue on tomorrow. So I'm switching colors here and the great thing about this is I can use one hand to highlight. I can highlight with my left hand and drill with my right. Let's see, I'll go down here. getting um, really painful too because I should have already taken my pain medication and I forgot I was going to take it before I started this video in fact give me one second I'm going to take it okay I'm back so now you're probably wondering why am I taking pain medication well, here's my story. I used to work in a nursing home as a CNA, which is a certified nurse's assistant. And if you know anything about the healthcare field, you, you know that that is a thankless job and um, it's very um, hard on your body. So I worked, I did it for three years, and I worked in that facility for three years, and I started noticing that my shoulders were really hurting a lot, all the time, I mean, to the point where it was like, dreadful thinking about coming to work and um, I had said something to the um, uh, hold on I said something to my charge nurse and uh, she says, oh, you might have a torn rotator cuff. You should probably uh, report that. And I finished off my shift <laughs> and then I filled out the paperwork and I actually got chastised for not um, stopping work right then and there. But if you know anything about nursing homes, is they're always short-staffed, or there's, you know, it's really hard to get someone in, especially in the middle of a shift. So, you know, I was thought I was doing the right thing by um, you know sticking out my shift and so I didn't have to leave the people that were working there hanging 
nobody to cover my section or what, whatever. You know, it really wasn't my problem, but it was my pro I felt it was my problem because I'm just not that type of person to just walk out on a job. It wasn't like I was doing anything different than I was doing any other day. I was just doing my job. <clears throat> and um, they're, they were trying to say, you could have could have injured yourself even more by not, you know, stopping right then and there. But what they didn't realize was that, um, well, I didn't know anything about how it worked, you know, workman's comp, whatever. I'm not, I've never had to, uh, deal with it before. Never been injured so I start seeing the doctors and they had me on light duty and um, they finally did an MRI they did an oh gosh they did an MRI on both my cer cervical and thoracic spine at the same time so it was basically two full MRIs at once and I was crying by the time I got out of there. I was hurting so bad. My shoulders were so cramped in there. And the result was that um, I had two herniated discs in my neck. And um, I also had something called Schmorl's nodes on my upper spine. So they explained that the herniated discs is what was causing the... Um, in my neck because what your shoulder when your neck is in pain your shoulders tend to pull up to protect them to protect the neck to protect the neck muscles from being used and that's why in my um, one video I don't remember which video it was now, but um, I was saying to remember to relax. Oh, it was in my 101, the uh, last 101 video, because I still do that. I'm sitting here. In fact, I just now had to relax my shoulders because I, I sit here with my shoulders and my ears, and that is not healthy for the long haul when you want to sit here and do something like this which I haven't been able to sit here and relax and do this all night and when I'm relaxing I'm actually um, <laughs> not relaxing I'm 10 step in the shoulders so anyway I went through physical therapy they put me on muscle relaxers they put me on Believe it or not, they put me on a medication called Lyrica. And I'm sure you've seen the commercials. Um, it's for a, it's a fibromyalgia medication. And fibromyalgia is a nerve pain disease or issue or whatever. I didn't have fibromyalgia, but they had me on this medication. And I did not realize what the uh, side effects were. So, side story here. Um, so I'm on this medication and uh, we went to uh, his brother, my husband's brother's place for, because they were going to get married and it was their daughter's first birthday and we'd never met her. And we'd been married um, about a year and a half at this point. And, uh, so we planned this whole long trip where we, um, because I live in Oregon, and we went, we drove down to Vegas. Hold on, I'm trying to count. And, and then after Vegas, we went to his brother's in Texas, and we drove the whole way. And... Every time we stopped somewhere, 
for the night. I mean, I had to put my feet up. My feet were so swollen. It was it was painful. I mean, I never thought that you know, having swelling in your feet would hurt, but it did. And um, later, quite a bit later, after I was already off this medication, I saw the commercial and saw that that was one of the side effects was swelling. And so I'm like, okay, well that would explain why that entire trip I was swollen. But anyway, um, I was going to physical therapy and, and I just wasn't getting any better. They had me working in the medical records office doing paperwork and they said, you know, you sitting at the desk with your neck bent down. I mean, I loved it. That's kind of stuff that I went to school for, but, uh, Um, oh, what was I saying? So I, I liked the, the work, but they said, you're not getting any better, better so we're going to take you off light duty and just have you stay home. And, you know, I collect money from um, workers' comp while I'm at home. And... So that's what I did, and anyway, I ended up having surgery on my neck. They replaced the um, disc in my neck, but I still didn't um, improve. So I I got a lawyer, and uh, we had to file a claim. I guess it basically was suing the, my work. I don't, I'm really not sure what went down there. Hold on, one, two, three, four, one up. All right, one there. And, you know, I ended up getting a, a settlement and then I had to file, you know, I had to sign a paper saying that I'd never try to get a job there again. I'm like, no problem. I can't do this kind of work anymore. Anyway, so, um, and then I applied for disability. I got turned down twice, and then after being turned down the second time, you can apply for uh, a hearing, request a hearing. So I got the same lawyer I had, and um, we went to court, and I won. And I still see a pain specialist. And the workman's comp has to pay for my medical care regarding my neck and shoulders for as long as I have this issue. You know, of course, they, they fight me, keep trying to say that, oh, yeah, your doctors say you're going to improve, you're going to get better. But, you know, this injury happened in 2009, so nine years ago. And if I haven't improved by now, you know, what makes them think I'm going to? Anyway, um, one of the physical therapists had told me that uh, the injury to my neck causes the um, Schmorl, Schmorl's nodes is arthritis in the back, which makes sense to me because my mom... Um, had rheumatoid arthritis, juvenile rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, so it wasn't a shock to me to find out that I had some sort, but I've had it, it's something you're born with, but it doesn't always um, surface right away, and I, I do remember having upper back pains throughout my life, I mean really, really bad ones, so having this injury just has made it to where I'm I constantly have pain in my upper back so I'm on some pretty strong uh, pain medication that uh, you have to take around the clock for it to actually stay working and um, I do see a pain specialist and of course they monitor to make sure that I'm not abusing my uh, pain meds which I don't I am very cautious of uh, 
medication and I like to I like to have my wits about me. When I was first taking pain medications though, it was so hard for me to concentrate. I mean, I'm sure you've noticed times when I sit there and I can't think of words. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that, you know, I'm on medication that really messes with your mind, with not your mind, but messes with that uh, part of your brain. So I've had to, you know, fight for, for years to try to make sure that I could think and make sure that I knew what I was saying and to spit it out and to not make my, let my mind wander and lose track of what I was saying. I, it's still, I still do it sometimes, but not as bad as I was when I first started um, taking pain medication, but I'd love to not have to take it. I'd love to not be in pain, but the um, one thing I can say is that because of um, because of this happening and the injury I do have, I'm able to stay home with my daughter. I wasn't able to do that with my older two, and I am able to with Teslin, so I think it's a blessing in disguise. Alright, next color. Let's try the uh, seven. Let's see if I can find the seven. Plus, on top of that, as I've gotten older, I've got other issues throughout my body. I'm not going to name them all because it would probably really bore you. Um, but they deemed me to be, uh, I mean, the uh, hearing people deemed me to be disabled because there was not a, a job out there that I could do where... Um, I could do what my doctor told me I would need to get up and move around for 10 minutes every hour. And that was the clincher. There's no job out there that's going to let you do that. And on top of that, you know, I have carpal tunnel too. So I've had both of this, both surgery on both my wrists, but it could always come back if I flare it up again. But it's improved a lot since I did have the surgery. Um, so yeah, that's why I take pain medication. <laughs> and let's see, I'm actually able to talk and do this at the same time. That's a miracle in itself because these aren't exactly easy to... I, I miss my symbols on the chart. I think that's part of the fun is actually, you know, seeing the symbols and searching for them. I still have to search for them on here to make sure I've gotten them all. have a whole row done. Look at that. Let's see. And there's two more down there. Tesla's asleep, but she always wakes up in the middle of the night and comes running in here and wants me to go to bed, so... If my phone doesn't die and she comes in here and does that, then that's my cue to go to bed. Okay, more sevens. Ooh, there's a, a five. Alright, let's see if I can figure this out. Four down. One, two, three, four. So two over. Four, two, two. Yeah, right there. That's three of them. 
And then I need two more. This is supposed to be like the tip of the fairy fairy's wings. Oh, I was just in such a hurry to get this started that I wasn't thinking about the layout of my um, uh, videos. Um, <clears throat> now that I'm actually drilling, I think I'll make sure to put a picture of what this is going to be in the video. <clears throat> But I think I'm going to alternate um, between doing these drill with me's and doing a, a time lapse. Just because this quiet time I have here is my only time to catch up on videos and read my books, or listen to my books, I should say. And, um, sorry, excuse me. and so if I'm doing them live, or not live, but whatever, I will do a live one too at some point. Just because that's something I'd like to do. Since they enabled that in the YouTube channels now. But that way I can uh, catch up on that. But these drill with me's are fun too, even though I'm basically talking to myself. <laughs> I know y'all are out there, you know, doing your diamond paintings and all that. And I think doing it together with a drill with me, I don't know how well that'll work because if I'm drilling, I'm not going to be able to see the screen if we do live. So it may not be an actual time to be productive, but to just go live and to... have a Q&A maybe. I know people still have quite a few questions. I try to cover um, all the answers in my videos, but there's still so many questions out there that there's, you know, more videos to do. And I know there's a, a couple of informative videos I'd like to make. It's just finding time between, I mean, I haven't totally uh, dropped the ball on my color dra dragon time lapse because I really love that painting but this was just so intriguing to me that I couldn't stay away I had to get it started now did I okay I'm hoping I highlighted whatever it was I just did okay this goes catty corner to that go three down from there. There. Okay, corner to the right. There. Oh, that's that is where I did these. Wait a minute. I've got something highlighted that shouldn't be there. Oh goodness. Do it. Grr. Oh, yeah, maybe. Okay, here we go. Wow, it's undoing all the stuff that I just highlighted. There we go. <laughs> now I don't know what I've done. Oh, Lord. Okay. Then those four, those two. I did the catty corner. I did the three down. And I did the catty corner. And I already got that one. I did these five. Right there. I did the one above. Which is two in. And the one below. 
And then over here I did these three. Ah, oh, that's what happened. Uh, you can't go vertical without highlighting the whole thing, just like on the other one. I did those three. Um, did those four. Skip one. What? Oh no. One, two, three, four. What? I'm confused. I did these two. And then skip four. That one and that one. Next row, I don't have anything done. Next row, skip four, do one, skip one, and two. The next row, so that's one, two, three, four in. One, two, three. That's the wrong row. This is not supposed to be here. This is supposed to be on the other side. I don't know if I like these tweezers. They're plastic and they're sucktastic. At least for doing this. I can't wait to get my hook cam tweezers. It goes here. I have so many paintings coming from hook cam. I hope I like them because. I, they had some really good sales, and so I did a bunch of customs. Okay, so there should be three blank, and then we got these two there now. Okay, now, this Oh my gosh, did I do the whole row wrong? This shouldn't be there either. It should be here. So that would be those two. And then this one should be... Ugh, there. What a mess. Maybe I can't talk and drill at the same time. <laughs> okay. I think we're good now. As long as I mark that. Okay, so let's get this one here. And three in on the second row. right there and then the thing about going just um, 20 by 20 like this you can just run your finger down each row like this until you find the ones you need I mean I mean you shouldn't miss any I mean I probably still will because I'm good at that things that shouldn't be possible. I make it possible. Okay, those are all done. Uh, no seven there, no sevens. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, there's a lone seven in the middle. So now I have to count over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. So seven and four up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three up. Four up. Three, okay. One, 
it's in one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh row, one, two, three, four, fifth up. How did I get that wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the sevens are done. Oh, my eyes are getting blurry. Let's go on to the eights. My lips are getting chapped. Okay. Oh. They're spilling. I don't know. I might switch to the smaller, um, tray because I don't think there's any large areas on this one that are uh, the same color which this that's what this tray is really good for is doing uh, multi drills so without that need I'll consider it I don't know, it's a really big painting, so I'm sure maybe somewhere. But looking at it like this, in a 20 by 20 jobby, eh, doesn't seem too bad, but... <laughs> I know that's just a tiny portion of this gargantuan painting. Okay, let's do the eighths. Looking for the eights. I see six, I see three, I see nine, I see five, three, six, nine, and there's the seven I just had. Um, it's probably, oh, there it is. Of course, it's in the big box. Of course, that's going to be easy to miss. Wrong one. I'm guessing after I do a few of these, I'll um, get a better feel of where things are. And I won't have so much problem finding them. If it's a little dark, I'm sorry, my flash is off, so it's not emitting as much light because of my low battery. I have it plugged in, but um, when it's below 15%, the, the light for the flash won't work. I don't even, I don't know that it helps a lot in, um, for you guys through the camera to see. It doesn't help me much, so. <sighs> I think I'll do these eights and then, um, hit the sack, get these decompressed, and then, um, or I'll just set it up to decompress so I can upload it tomorrow. In. Oh, I should have used the multi drill. Uh, three in, and go three down. Oh, nice and crooked. Tell me I need more wax. Okay. There we go. Mm, go up one. Go 
this way. Now I need I'm gonna do three. And they're gonna go along the edge here. Another three. And those three go in row two of this box. <laughs> Directly below that. Right there. Perfect. And then there's one that goes next to it. Goes in that box. And then two over. And there's the third one down. Oops. I wanted to be able to get at least this square done, but I got started on it so late that that ain't happening. I didn't think it was going to take this much time. There's a lot of looking down, looking up, looking down, looking up. are burning as well because um, I get seasonal allergies but the only thing that I really get is the burning eyes I mean it's enough but I don't I get sometimes I get the sneezies but not like some people who are really bad like my husband he is well oh, he has the worst allergies I've seen anyone have uh, thing is, is he's allergic to everything cats and dogs and we have both cats and a dog but he made it work because I've had these cats long 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 before I met him and uh I mean, they're almost gone, but you know what Tesla said when she found out that um, the kitty died, she, uh, I, I explained to her that, you know, our kitty Precious, she's old too, and, and Sabrina, um, Shadow's sister, you know, she's old as well, and, and they're going to end up dying and she says okay I want a new kitten because so I want one that can run with me I was like oh. I don't think she understands really what dying means I mean my mom died um, almost two years ago and so she knows that Nana died. I mean, we all had a um, celebration of life for her at the hospital because we knew she was um, going to pass. And um, I mean, she was only three at the time, but she still remembers every time we go near the hospital, she's like, that's Nana's hospital. And, um, but I just don't think she, she, she knows she, she, she can't see her anymore, but at that age, they just don't, they don't understand what death is. And, um, 
something, but it, it, it just struck it struck us funny that she said that she wanted a new cat. I mean, out of the mouth of babes, you know. So I know I'm being pretty boring here, but hey, as I, I'm getting more tired, I'm having to recount. <laughs> So I'm definitely going to end it when the eights are done. And there are, is only a couple left, it looks like. But I want to keep going. But when your body is telling you you need to stop, you got to stop. You got to keep your body healthy, too, so that you can live another day to diamond paint. <laughs> all that other stuff that's important, you know? Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's any left. Let's see if I missed any. all the time. I do this, um, <laughs> I play this cross-stitch game on my phone where it's basically just like a color by number, but th there's squares. And like I was telling Tesla last night, it's just diamond painting on my phone. And so she had to help me. She wanted to help. But I'll say just one more symbol, one more symbol, and then I'll go to bed. Just one more area. One more screen. I'll finish this screen and go to bed. That's what this reminds me of because it's just I'm touching the numbers on the screen to cover them up as I do it. And that's just like the game. Anyway, all the eights are gone. They're done. So, this wasn't too bad. I mean, just about an hour. And look how much I got done. <laughs> yeah, this will never get done if I don't do some time lapse on it. So, alrighty guys, I will talk to you in the next video. And I do need to mix it up and <clears throat> post other things other than just this. But this is good for when I'm waiting for another package to come and, um, Yeah, so, all right, guys, I will talk to you later. Have fun diamond painting. I know I will be in my dreams. Bye.